Alright, here we are in the volcanic crater. We're actually done with every area around and in volcanic crater. So yeah, Spider Cave 100%, Snowy Mountain 100%, Volcanic Crater 100%, Mountain Pass 100%, and every area southward, southbound, 100%. So the only thing we got left here is lava, the lava tube and further north toward Gaul and Maya Citadel. Let's talk to Kira first though. Okay, so let's head north to the Yellow Sage Lab. She did say that 800 is the limit, but temperatures here, they're hotter than what they were in uh, Fire Canyon, so yeah. I do plan to get all the orbs, so uh, I'm probably going to risk getting a few deaths here. Not to mention the scat flies. Oh boy. See? I'm already dying already. And I missed an orb, really? Whatever. I wasn't going to survive anyway. Pretty difficult, but here in the lava tube. But the good news is they give you checkpoints here in the lava tube. Dang it! I died again. Oh well. tube is tricky, but with, with them giving you two checkpoints, it should be no problem. And there's that one orb, I was, one orb I was missing. No, not no. Okay, good. And here's Scott fly number two. Hope I didn't miss anything. Okay, right where the yellow eco vents are. That's one checkpoint. That is all of the uh, orbs here in the lava tube. Let's get going. Yeah, we have to break those uh, electric uh, balls, I guess you could say. <laughs> Hold on. Alright, sorry about that. Apparently my sister had to walk in because my... Oh, wrong button. Because she had a prod... She, apparently, she had a project to do, so, and the printer's in my room, she had to print something out, so, yeah, I let her, I let her in. Yeah. And it is a school project, by the way. I think you have to, like, take the right path. Also here, uh, another checkpoint. That's five. Oh, I hope it didn't die there or anything. If 
I miss a scout fly, I am going back for it. There is the sixth one. Things are a little cooler here in the lava tube. Uh, dang it. Oh, there's the seventh scout fly. And yeah, right here is the end of the lava tube. So here we are in the last area to collect power cells. Well, yeah, there's the power cell to get to the end of the lava tube. And right over there, Golden Maya said it all. But we have to first open this warp gate. We have to go into the Citadel. I think Daxter was a little too... I don't know, obvious. He has to know that, even though he's been through bosses before, he has to know that this is the last one. Like, this is for the world. Anyway, here, here we are, Gold and... Ma Gull and Maya Citadel. The last area with power cells and precursor orbs and scout flies. And pretty much the last place we'll be visiting for this Let's Play. It's about time you two decided to show up. Nice to see you, too. Do they have you mopping the floors now? There's no time for jokes, Daxter. Gaul and Maya kidnapped us to sap our energies to power their abominable machines. It appears they have combined the functional remains of a precursor robot with scavenged artifacts from across the land. Then they added a few diabolical additions of their own, creating the one thing capable of opening the dark eco silos. If you can free the four of us, we can use our combined powers to break the force shield surrounding the robot before they use it to destroy the world. So yeah, that's what... Basically... We have to free Samos and the other three sages here. And in the process, we're going to get power cells, too. I'm going to free the stages in the order of my favorite color. Which... If I had to pick a favorite color... Red, uh, yellow, green, or blue... Yellow would be first. I think blue would be second. And... Well... Red has to be... No. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I just realized. We have to save the yellow, blue, and red sages first before we can s save the, uh, red sage, uh, not the red sage, the Samos, who is the green sage. So yeah, we have to save yellow, red, and blue first before we can save green. If I'm correct, Here's yellow, so... Yeah.
Yeah, this way will take us to the yellow sage. So I'm going to a yellow first, blue second, and then red third. But it's not really a big deal. Which which one you choose first? Yeah, we have to uh, launch launch ourselves on these precursor launchers. And yeah, I'm making sure I get every single orb here. Didn't mean to do that, but okay. Oh. Can I make it? Sort of. Now the good news is they have blue eco clusters in some certain area of the uh, of the platforms in case you run out, you know. And of course we have to come back around. And launching ourselves to that platform. Got him. Yeah, if you launch immediately after you get the blue eco, you will open this in time. There are 30 orbs in this one, along with the one at the beginning over there. And there you go. You just have to break that. And, you, and there we go, we freed the yellow sage. I wouldn't do that, but okay. Right over here, scout fly. That's number four. Oh, fudge. No! I... Yeah. Apparently, once you get to a volcanic crater and all those areas, that's where the hard part comes in. Because, yeah, you're going to be probably dying a lot of times, just like I am. Especially in this episode and the last episode. I died a lot of times. You have to double jump and spin in order to get everything at least once. Right here is the uh, blue sage, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this is the blue sage, because I know where the red sage is. I always confuse myself... Well, I actually, I used to confuse myself with where the blue sage and where the uh, red sage is. Uh, right over here. You could, uh... I guess you could, like, grab onto that and hold on. Or could you, you could actually stay on the corners of that platform and you still won't get hurt by that, uh, flaming thing. I don't even know what it's called, unfortunately. And I... Wow. Again? Okay. Apparently, I died twice there, in less than 10 seconds. See, you 
could be on the corners here and you still won't get hurt. You have to double jump and spin to get to these platforms. It's the only way to get across this area. If you do want to get all the orbs, you're going to have to go quickly. I know I just uh, rip, uh, risk, risk one health piece right there, but actually I have plenty of time, so I probably didn't need to do that. But yeah. Apparently they move forward, and yeah, there is the blue sage. take us down here. Okay, so we got blue and yellow. So all we got left is the red sage, and he is right up there. Let's get to the red sage. We have to, uh... to go up here on these, uh, pie platforms. <laughs> uh, yeah. These platforms that are shaped like half a pie or a quarter of a pie. And yeah, you need to, uh, get on top of them to get over here. <coughs> it's the only way to get to the Red Sage. Scout fly number six, just one more scout fly left in this entire let's play. with orbs. They're not needed for anything else. Alright, that should do it. Now, there's a red bin over there. Why is that? Well... Lots of lurkers! Lots of lurkers indeed. Yeah. Yellow Eco does not help. You have to take out the source of where those lurkers are coming from. That's right in here. I mean, in the meantime, you'll just have to uh, spin your way across and take them all out. The door is open. Let's get going. Yeah, the door won't open until you take them all out. And if I'm not mistaken, that's... that's all the orbs in here. And this will be the last time we'll be seeing the red eco vent. We won't see it again in this Let's Play. So yeah, better avoid red eco. And 
using the... Yeah, we can just take that out with Ready Go 2. And that got, gets us another power cell. <laughs> you finally come to rescue. Do you know how long I've been in here? What took you so long? <laughs> what are your names? I'm Daxter. He's dead. Good job, Daxter. You're a real hero. You've got to stop Gobble from launching the robot. Use my ego power to help open the shield door. Yeah. Sure. Let's go climb up those platforms! So we got the other three sages. Now we just need to climb up these platforms, which is right here, yeah. Sure. I don't think there's any more orbs down here. I think the rest of the orbs are up here. But yeah. Apparently, the platforms are right here next to the Red Eco Stage. How convenient, because now I don't have to travel for far. I just have to go around the corner and then, you know. Or I guess you could say next door. So all we got left is to save Samos. And then I'll probably end the episode here, and then next weekend I'll show off the finale of Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy, or episode 14, or, or part 14. Yeah, that skill right there. There's the last of the scout flies. That's number 100. So if we were to complete this game 100%, we already have it. Don't need the rest of the orbs. orbs left over, that means we have all 2,000 orbs in the entire game. So yeah, if you have 470 orbs left over and you have all the power cells to trade with people, you have all the orbs in the entire game. And without further ado, let's grab our final power cell of the entire Let's Play. Voila! my green eco power with the other three sages and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, great. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince God to help Jackson. You too late, save us. Once I was as limitless as our ego, I will help achieve the creation itself. This is madness! Releasing that much dark ego will destroy everything we know. Just look what it's done to you. It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the silence, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two travel all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your front row seats to the recreation of the world! Jack! Take the elevator up and stop that robot! 
So, what happens now? When we have to defeat, we have to stop Go and Maya from destroying the world. But what happens in the next episode? Will Dexter be able to change back to his normal self again? And what will happen after we stop Go and Maya and that robot? Those questions are to be answered in the final episode of this Let's Play. I didn't... I don't think I need to do that. We'll fight Gaul and Maya in the next episode... Actually, in the next and final episode of this Let's Play. And we'll also find out what that door actually is, too. So yeah, thanks for watching. This is Drew Mario 1306. And I'll see you next weekend for the last episode of Jack and Daxter, The Precursor Legacy.